Twas the night before the drop, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even my spouse. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, the Gale, back at it again with another VV interview summarization video. So, um, yeah, it's the day before the drop, and uh, we don't have any prices yet. We should be getting a Medium article out today, so look forward to that. Um, so basically, this video is going to be a summary of a recent inter interview that Reese had with uh, VV Wiki. So feel, f check, feel free to check those guys out. Um, I'll leave a link of the video in the, in the description if you want to hear it for yourself. But I'm just going to summarize the main points that I took away from the video while I update my showroom. So if you want to hang out with me and uh, listen to my uh, summarization, feel free to do that. If not, I'll catch you in my next video, which will probably be the uh, Medium article breakdown and my strategy for Thursday's drop. And if you'll notice up top, you'll see I have seven sets just to keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, I sold a Bubbles for a decent amount of money, so I completed three sets with that. Just to uh, be transparent with you guys, like I said, I'm documenting my journey here. So I'm going to tell you guys what's going on as things progress with my uh, VV journey. But yeah, with all that being said, let's get into the summarization. Okay, so Reese first t start t starts talking about the rollout of new developments uh he's he said that the next developments will be accessories most likely shelving and plinths and more customizations to the vault and possibly making scenes and stuff like that customizable scenes like a batman cave or whatever bat cave um he goes on to, goes on to talk about they are focusing on a range of uh digital products so by, by the end of the year, we should have like a plethora of uh, digital products from art to possibly music to, um, you know, what we've been getting to anime to whatever else. Um, he says that collectibles can only make a digital transition once and it's cool that they're faci facilitating it. So in other words, pretty much there's a there's a transfer going on right now. Uh, if, you, if you think about crypto, there's a wealth transfer from fiat to crypto. A lot of money is pouring into crypto. Well, the same thing is happening with uh, digital collectibles right now. Everything's, you know, they're pretty much making the physical into digital. So VV is pretty much a, like a big player in that. Um, they go on to, he, Reese goes on to talk about the master collection uh, program a, a little bit. And he says that completing sets will definitely play a role. So it's good to do that if you can if you can do that right now, because it will help you earn collector points or whatever they choose to call it. Um, he pretty much said that they can see everything that people hold. So like, let's say you hold a lot of Batman um, pieces. Well, they know that you hold hold a lot of Batman, and. Um, you could possibly be a master collector of the Batman series. Or let's say somebody like me who has a lot of unicornos and Tokidoki collect collections. Um, maybe I could be a Tokidoki master or something like that. Uh, what else? So he was asked about how many users do they think that they'll get by the end of the year and reset that they're targeting uh, 1 million users by the end of the year and that might be an understatement that's just my opinion uh, Reese says that this is just version 1 of VV you know some features would have been released if they had a user base to like test them out on and stuff um, <clears throat> then he goes on to talk about the auction rules so there's going to be some new rules implemented as soon as next week uh, the first rule, the, f the first update will be pushed out to Android users, and then like a few more weeks later, uh, Apple users. And one of the rules is that 
New users to VB will have to wait 72 hours before they can participate in auctions. So that's good. That'll stop, like, you know, bad actors from just making new accounts just so they can, you know, troll us in the auctions. And they're also going to add a 10 gem escrow. So that's very good. I'm glad to hear that. So if you want to make a bid, you're going to have to put down at least 10 gems. Um, that, that'll that stop the people from fake bidding unless they don't care about losing 10 gems here and there. Uh, Reese says that they're going to start, they're going to implement uh, in-app trading. So we're going to be able to trade with other VV users within the app. I'm guessing via smart contract. And we're going to be able to contact other other um, users as well. So, we, like, if I see somebody has a has a uh, collectible that I want, I can like at, inquire about it. Basically, he also says that we're going to get better filters within the uh, marketplace. So maybe we'll be able to sort from lowest price and stuff like that. So that'd be very uh, helpful. Uh, Reese says that David Yu is pretty much the guy, pretty much the only the guy who decides like the mint sizes and stuff like that. He has a wealth of of knowledge when it comes to collectibles. He has his vagabond gaming uh, store, so he's well aware of what drives collectors to come to VV. And then Reese talks about first appearances as well. He says that other collectible companies, they kind of, you know, missed the boat on that. Like, they're not really emphasizing that. And uh, first first appearance pretty much means, like, like the, in, the physical, in the physical aspect, it's like the first time something was sculpted or something. Or, like, Batman. Um, like, the first time Batman was sculpted or something, that would be a first appearance. And he says that those are usually the most sought-after um, collectibles. And it's kind of like they represent a slice of history, so it's like worth trying to get if you can if you can get a first appearance. He says that he, like most of these IPs, if not all of them, this is their first appearance in digital format. So uh, we have a golden opportunity. Well, this is me speaking right now. We have like a golden opportunity to snag up these first appearances before people really start hearing about this and before they catch on to what's going on. Like, we have a good head start, and I personally plan on taking advantage. Back to the interview, um, he says that they're not reinventing the wheel. They're pretty much just digitizing what people already love, which is a very smart business plan. Um, And they were just talking about theoretical situations. So, like, let's say you go to Comic-Con, and because you have uh, four complete sets of Batman, black and white, then you'll have like special access to the Batman room or something like that. So there's a lot of possibilities with that kind of, um, you know, with that kind of uh, potential. Um, they were talking about variants within variants in, in terms of collectibles and appearances. So like, as most of us already know, we're going to be able to upgrade these collectibles, and um, yeah, we're going to be able to customize them. You know, switch up the switch up the uh, looks and stuff and then he says like the bat the batman black and white series will pretty much stay the same you know so we can preserve its uh special qualities of being first appearance and stuff um he was asked about movies in the future like movie releases and he hinted at this pro- it's a possibility that they may leverage movie movie releases and collectible drops simultaneously to like market VV at the same time uh, and then he goes on to say that blind boxes are absolutely on the way which we have started to hear more frequently going through my notes here <clears throat> let's see so he says the long term vision is ready player one basically so if you've seen ready player one that is the vision long term and it's probably going to take a while, but if you can hold out, it's going to be worth it. Let's see. He was asked about who is their, who is VV's biggest competitors. And he says at the moment, they've pretty, we've pretty much cornered the market talking about VV. So um, VV has went to these licensors early. Like they've been in talks for like years. They've been telling them what blockchain is and what NFTs are. So they've been like schooling these uh, old school companies about what's what's about to happen so 
um, he he mentions that <clears throat> these other companies they don't even have they don't really they don't have the access that BB has to these to these licensors. We have David Yu and Alfred Kahn on our team. That's like the A list of uh, licensors. So just having those two on the team, we lock up like a majority of the world's most popular brands. So uh, we are we are we are the clear winners. That's uh, Reese's words. And what VB is doing, or what Ecomi is doing, is basically leveraging existing fan bases. So, like the heavy the heavy lifting has already been done. VB is just, you know, making a new platform and um, using what already works and just digitizing it basically. So, so now Reese goes on to talk about the Omi token. He says the Omi token is fundamental fundamental to the VD app. It's deliber- deliberately hidden from the use of well, the use of the Omi token is deliberately hidden because they're basically targeting mainstream audience. They don't need to know about crypto to use VV, which is great. Um, he says if you understand the tokenomics behind VV, I mean be- behind the Omi token, it's one of the most powerful uh, things to exist in crypto. Uh, let's see here. He he pretty much says he, he says that Ecomi is one of the only companies actually generating revenue. I'm not sure if you meant within the crypto world in ge- within the crypto world in general or within the NFT uh, world. But at any rate, it's true because their su- their drops sell out in minutes, literally minutes. Uh, after being dropped so he says that they have a product they ha- they actually have a working product and it's being well received by the community which it is for the most part for being in beta um, every item sold benefits the omi token or token holders omi token holders he says whatever the vv verse becomes it will be built on the omi token so the omi token isn't going anywhere it's gonna be the uh, underlying asset to the VV verse and everything VV. He he mentions that Ecomi wouldn't be where they are today without the early token holders, and that they will continue to reward the holders of Omi, or, or they'll continue to find ways to reward the Omi holders. He says it's an ingenious system, really. It's designed. The system is designed to benefit token holders. And he says that the ongoing scarcity should uh, increase the value of Omi over time. So, if you're not a millionaire by now, I would make that a goal. That's just me; it's my opinion, not financial advice. But this is one of those tokens where <clears throat> you're gonna look back, most likely, and say, "I could have bought it at four tenths of a cent. I don't know why I didn't buy it at four tenths of a cent. I knew everything that was going on, and..." Or you're going to rejoice and be like, dude, I'm so smart. I'm glad I bought a couple million Omi or whatever. But anyway, <clears throat> he says that they're building towards digital toys. So instead of just static collectibles, the goal is to have digital toys, you know, interactive, um, you know, playable, adjustable, c- customizable. They're going for new digital experiences. Um and he mentions that we win the game if we can bring over traditional collectors so you know all the batman freaks and all the tokidoki geeks if we can bring them over to vv the game is won because they already exist and it's just just need to make that transition over um <clears throat> he was asked about the interoperability of vv nfts in the future and he says it's definitely going to happen this year um You'll be able to store them offline and sell them on other marketplaces. And that's what Ecomi wants because when people see a Rizzo, let's say in the Binance in the Binance market or in Open Sea market, they're gonna be like, Where did that Rizzo come from? And once they find out about VV, it's just gonna bring them back to VV. So it's beneficial to make these NFTs interoperable. Um <clears throat> and then Reese was asked uh, what is his like most underrated collectibles, and he says he favors his uh, Series One Adventure Time, 
It has Platinum Moogly because that is the first secret rare on the VV app. He was asked about NFL and he says that launch will be closer to uh, the start of the season. So it won't be this quarter, most likely the last quarter of the year or the third quarter of the year. Um, (coughs) Excuse me, guys. Um, And then he just mentions that there are so many brands that we are not aware of that will be dropped on VV. So that was just a quick little update from the interview. And that's a lot of bullish news. Um, Yeah. So that's that. So that's the video, my friends. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Feel free to drop a like to help your boy out in the algorithms. Um, And let me know in the comments, like, what are you most, what are you most bullish about with uh, Vivi and Ecomi? What are you most excited about? Or what do you, what do you hope to see the most? Let me know something like that down in the comments. Um, We got a lot of bullish news between yesterday and today and, or Monday and yesterday. Getting my days confused. But uh, yeah, we should we should get the drop information today. So that's going to be even more bullish news. Like it's, it seems like the news never stops with Vivi, whether it's, um, you know, a little a uh, little hype on their part or, you know, facts from uh, deep divers or it's always something going on. It seems like this company is like the most exciting company to be in right now in the crypto world. You know, even though the Omi tokens down, that's nothing. That's a blessing, honestly. I wish I had more capital to, you know, get some more Omi tokens, but I will, you know, because money comes to me easily and quickly and often. You know, that's just an affirmation. If you know about affirmations, then you're ahead of the game. If you don't, you might want to look them up. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm not a financial advisor at all. I'm just your uh, friendly neighborhood genius, you know, who... uh happened to stumble across this awesome company due to, uh, you know, preparation and opportunity colliding one day. And I just read the white paper and I got excited. I got real excited. So now I'm just making videos, sharing my journey and my opinions on this awesome company called Ecomi. So with that being said, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out and hodl.